What's up, guys? <laughs> Sorry, Shardimus, had to steal your shit. Um, hey, guys, it's G Force hanging out with uh, some live chats tonight and having some fun. Um, what I would like to do is to um, open up Moff Gideon. Just got him delivered the other day. Freaking glare everywhere. Can't stand it. But uh, we'll crack him open. I believe that the Black Series likes to open from the bottom. Marvel Legends like to open from the side. And G.I. Joe's definitely open them from the bottom. Um, I don't know if many of you know, I didn't put a description video out there um, as far as how I have never, ever been an open, well, besides when I was a kid. Um, but once I started recollecting when I got out of college, um, I did not open anything. Everything was like, oh, I'm going to retire on these things, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> and that just ain't the way that, that these toys work all the time. So, um, boxes, I will open without even thinking about it. Carded figures it's you can't get the the figure back in the card after the fact you know so you you pretty much destroy it and the card art is really cool um you guys have probably seen my uh my retro wall that's all cards i leave them on there my 3.75 gi joes they all stay on cards um, my Dr. Doom up there, he's going to stay on the card, like anything carded. I have 10 bins of Star Wars, the vintage collection on card in star cases. Um, and even my diamond selects like my, my John Wick and my Bruce Lee's. I'm having a really hard time taking them off the card. They display so well as they are, that I, I really have a hard time taking them off. But those may, may get opened. But anyway, what we're here for is Moff Gideon. Let's move him over to the camera side, see if we can't get a better look at his face. And I don't know, everybody touts the uh, real face technology and all that stuff that they're doing now to make the figures look better. And I think they do, but some of these Black Series Star Wars, they just look sweaty to me. Like somebody put, I don't know, like floor polish on their faces or something. I, I don't know. They look good, but... There's a, a wetness to them, I guess. All right. A dark saber. Got that nice glowing edge, if you will. Nice paint on that for just a plastic, black plastic piece. I like it. All right. And we'll get the blaster out of there. Come on, baby. You were just halfway out. What the hell? Freaking tape. Have I told you tape is like the bane of my existence? I hate tape. Love it and hate it at the same time. Oh, they taped the inner tray down. You little bastard. gone plastic we're done with you and try something a little bit different today guys uh, see if we can't all 
Oh, I can't even get down far enough to see the table. What the hell? Alright, we're going to try to just focus on the figure. What? Um. C. A. <laughs> I'm silly tonight. You guys probably never seen me like this. Alright, so. Um... As I say, there's Moff Gideon. His cape, nice and squishy. It kind of reminds me of the Lando cape, and that one doesn't throw me much. From the 40th anniversary but we'll see if he can uh, hang with this one a little bit better than Lando does with his and then again we have the dark saber oh, man. and his blaster so I'm going to take the cape off. Arms, do full 360. Got rubber pauldrons on his shoulder, so he will go up. I don't know why his right arm ain't going up as far, but just about 90. Left arm goes up a little bit better. I don't know what's going on there. Um... Single elbow, but he goes past 90. No bicep swivel, no forearm swivel. His wrist will do a full 360 and up and down for the pistol hand or the dark saber hand. Um, legs kick forward that much kick backwards that much single jointed knee that is some BS on a figure these days that cost $20 uh, thigh swivel no calf swivel Foot will point down that much, up that much, and you got a side to side rocker. So, not the best articulated figure I've ever seen in my life. Um, he's got a pliable holster. Oh, I didn't do the splits or the ab crunch. He'll split that much. Turn forward like that. Bend back that much. Pushed all the way around. And do the hula. So we will put his blaster in his holster. Because what's Moth Gideon if he's not holding a dark saber? If we can't get him to stand, no, we'll try to get the cape on him. There we go. Try to 
get you some better shots because I know the light's not good. Whoa! And that is Moff Gideon. Black Series. So, on top of this, one of the reasons I have y'all here is that you guys have been amazing and I have finally hit 100 subscribers. Never thought 100 people would watch my shit, let alone follow me, subscribe to me, and consistently watch everything I put out. So kudos to you guys. Um, what I would like to do is coming up soon. I, again, I have no idea how to do this. I've never opened up a randomizer. I've never done anything like this. So never gone live. You'll have to bear with me if we have technical difficulties, which I'm sure we will. Um, but I would like to do a giveaway for my 100 sub uh, plateau. And what I would like to give away is this. Triceraton Infantryman and Roadkill Rodney 2-pack. If there's any Turtle fans out there... Um, I mean, it's really cool looking. I don't collect turtles. I can't go down that hole. It's just too crazy and too hard to collect for me to want to do that. Um, I enjoyed the turtles as a kid, but um, yeah. Maybe I'll get that four pack if it comes out. That disguise four pack looks pretty sick. <laughs> comes with all those accessories and everything. But yeah, so if you want a chance to win this, what you have to do, here are the rules. Of course, there's rules. Can't live life without rules. You have to be a subscriber. You have to be in the United States. Sorry. Um, shipping's crazy. I'm a poor man. Spend all my money on toys. <laughs> um, and you have to like this video. So if you meet those three criteria, once I post, um, I'm going to try to do a live. And once I post that, um, we'll do a randomizer, whatever the thing is, where you grab all the comments from this video. And we will select a winner. So again, I appreciate everyone's support. Um, you guys have been fantastic. And I would like to just say many blessings on your next toy hunt.